Now, let's get more analysis from another expert, and for that, we turn to Dr. Mark Barry, Associate Editor of the International Journal on World Peace. Thank you ever so much, Doctor, for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me, Aram. Uh, if I can get straight down to business uh, as well, if I may, the two leaders, they had a brief one-on-one -on -one talk before their dinner for about 30 minutes. What do you think the two talked about during that uh, short amount of time? Knowing President Trump, he probably got down to brass tacks right away and said, this is what I'm thinking, this is what I want to do. Uh, and I think he combined that with uh, a, a expressing his appreciation for the developing relationship, which he has touted in press conferences and on Twitter uh, as a very, very good relationship. So I think he was both encouraging with uh, Chairman Kim and at the same time giving him a basic picture of the landscape of what lies ahead tomorrow uh, in terms of the things that he hopes to agree upon uh, beginning at 9 uh, a.m. Uh, Hanoi time. Right. Uh, talking about brass tacks, now there are a number of reports suggesting the two countries will agree on the closing of key North Korean nuclear facilities and the lifting of sanctions against the regime and even a possible peace agreement to end the, uh, officially end the Korean War. Do you think they are realistic assumptions this time round? Some of them are. Uh, what I foresee is that there will be an agreement to uh, shut down in some way the Yangbyon nuclear facility, but hopefully in a way that goes beyond what was done in the past. Uh, secondly, I do foresee some sort of document that will be a, a rather generic peace declaration. It may not have the substance that will be needed to ultimately uh, do away with the armistice agreement, but it will be the first step in that direction. And lastly, I strongly feel that liaison offices will be agreed upon. Uh, it'll be a lot of legwork to make it happen. That may develop over the course of uh, many months or even a year. But I do believe that there's an intention to announce the opening of liaison offices. In terms of sanctions, uh, I think you relieve the sanctions that are the most logical uh, which would be, of course, uh, not having any impediments towards humanitarian aid, uh, perhaps some loosening of restrictions on American citizens visiting uh, North Korea. I would hope to see some implementation of cultural exchange. Uh, and finally, you have to loosen some sanctions, even uh, uh, if not at the bilateral level with the UN Security Council, in order to enable liaison offices to become effective. Right, and uh, on sanctions, obviously these sanctions are having a huge economic impact on the country as it is. Now, Trump has described North Korea as a country with huge economic potential, uh, likening the country to Vietnam's developments. Do you share his sentiment, and what things do you think North Korea could learn from the host country? Well, Chairman Kim will spend a couple of days, March 1st and 2nd, uh, touring uh, the country, and uh, I think uh, seeing is believing. Uh, and then, uh, as I remember Kim Il-sung saying to a delegation that I was part of in 1994, that we uh, chew various things, see how it tastes, and uh, what we don't like, what we can't use, we, we may spit it out, but he will certainly take it in. Uh, I think what the president is saying is that uh, when a country becomes part of the international system, even a country that has had a communist and socialist uh, history, uh, that great things can happen. And he sees uh, if, uh, as much, if not more, potential in the people uh, living in North Korea uh, than even in Vietnam. Uh, that said, Vietnam had, uh, one might say, the advantage of already being a unified country, uh, but it did uh, really uh, miraculous steps to come to the point where it is today in its relations with the U.S. and with the uh, international community. So uh, I think President Trump's hope is to see an eventual lifting of the uh, most severe economic sanctions, but I don't think we're going to see that uh, uh, in the next few months. Well, Dr. Barry, thank you ever so much for your astute observations and sharing your insights, and we hope to join you again soon. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.